Hi everybody, well here we are pulling our Badger airbrush apart. What we're doing now is we're just removing the uh, handle of the airbrush, this being a weighted handle. Now we're just undoing the needle and uh, we're going to actually pull out our plunger. And there goes the retainer nut. And as the plunger comes out you'll notice that the trigger will fall out. And there it goes. And then following that we'll have our back lever come out as well. Now as we get all this out, and there goes our back lever, we pull our head off, the airbrush that is, and then we get our tool, this being a hexagonal tool, to push out our needle bearing. Now needle bearing is rather small, there you go, that's how small it is, nice and little. And then what we're going to do is clean out the tube of the airbrush. To do this we use a, a very coarse pipe cleaner, and we just give it a good old clean through. Now the reason we do this is we just want to get any junk that's in there out. As you probably notice a little bit of stuff just fell out just then. And we'll just push the pipe cleaner right through this time and just give it a good old clean out. You've got to, there's nothing worse than having uh, bits and pieces of junk in there. Now we pick up our needle bearing, just inspect it, make sure it's okay. In this case it's in pretty good order. And then we just put it in. Now we put our airbrush upside down to put the needle bearing in. And then we just put our uh, hex tool again about a mil out and just push it in because it's a cone area, it just tightens down nicely. And we'll just check our needle to make sure it fits in nice and snug. Then we'll just use a little bit of lube here on the end of our needle. We, uh, this stops any uh, parts where it'll actually catch and try and pull the needle bearing out and cause other problems as well. The needle bearing is actually there so that the air doesn't go back down the tube. Now what we're going to have a look at is how we can clean this crown. Now we're going to see two methods. First of all, one that's wrong, and I mean wrong. Never ever use a needle to clean the crown. You damage both the needle and the crown. What we use is a cotton bud. Now if it's water-based ink, we use water. If it's thinner-based ink, we use thinners, but we never use the needle. Once that's clean, we just stick our crown and head assembly back onto our uh, airbrush and we uh, start putting in the back area. Now here we're going to put the, the plunger back together. So in goes the plunger into the, uh, the holder and then we put our, our retainer nut back on. Now when I put the lube here, it doesn't really do a great deal except for helping to pull it apart. And it's just a habit I get into. Everything's a lot easier to pull apart. Those pliers are for pulling apart, not putting together. So it's easier if everything's nice and uh, lubricated. And we're just putting in our uh, back lever now and the back lever is curved to the back so you put the curved back area back towards our plunger and then the t-section fits into there now we do up our plunger as tight as it can it's actually the machine there so it can't go too far and then we'll just release that uh, retainer nut off the back now we'll push our lever to the side and back and then we'll get our trigger and put it in now the trigger actually has a slot in it and it goes from the front to the rear so the needle goes through that hole in the trigger. Then we just push down there. You might notice we push down on the uh, plunger to make sure the air will come through so that the trigger's actually in the right spot. So if it's spongy when we do that, you're in the right spot. And we just give it a bit of lube there and just make sure everything's moving nice and freely. Put our retainer nut on, push our needle in, just so it has a bit of a divot in our finger and then we tighten it up. So just give it a couple of goes to make sure everything's working nicely. So everything's nicely done there. Now we put our pick up our handle, a bit of lube on our handle, and then we just do it up nice and tight as well. Now when we do this, and we'll just take this back off in a second, we'll just check it over. It's always important to make sure that the retainer nut is done tight because otherwise they won't hold our needle. You might see our needle going in and out, so everything's fine there, so everything's great. So we put our back our um, handle back on. Everything's running nicely, it's nice and smooth. So what we'll do now is we'll see you at another time. Have a nice day. Bye.